Hello and welcome to the final webinar in our solar series. Today we're going to discuss bifacial solar. Bifacial solar is where people are using double-sided solar panels to try and increase the efficiencies on site. What we've seen is, is a reduction in manufacturing cost, which means it's getting more and more affordable to use bifacial panels and therefore enjoy the increased efficiencies of, of a bifacial system. What that means is we've seen about a 20% increase in bifacial panels on site, so it's becoming more and more popular. So the discussion is, why are people doing it and how to get the most out of it? Well, people are doing it because, one, it's cost effective and you get really uh, some great efficient gains in uh, energy performance, uh, but also people do it because land is now at a premium. So getting the most efficient power generation as possible is getting more and more and more important. So what we see, like I said, is about a 20% increase in uptake of bifacial panels. And what bifacial can do is give you around 5 to 30% increase in efficiency of the energy uh, generated, which, you know, is debatable, but... It all bent, it depends on shading, angle, till, all these good things that solar engineers know and love. But there is efficiencies to be gone. So what are people doing to try get the most out of their efficiencies? Well, obviously the sun's reflecting off the ground and back into the panel. So if you look at grass, for example, grass has got what about a 0.15 albedo rating. Now an albedo rating is the reflected light over the incident light. So you get 0.15 albedo rating out of grass. That's increased to about 0.25 to 0.35 out of concrete. There are some other concretes out there that are pushing some innovation to try and increase that even further. But or if you take an example of fresh snow, that could be 0.8 albedo rating. So really increasing the efficiencies of the, uh, the energy generated by what's on the ground. So because what's on the ground uh, plays such an important role, it's obvious that people are looking at engineered solutions to increase that efficiency. So we've seen all kinds of cool stuff coming out, reflective steelworks, reflective concrete, but also reflective matting. There's a lot of companies now spending a lot of money in innovating really cool matting technologies. What we've seen is they can get albedo ratings between 0.7 and 0.9. That means you're really in the 22% to 30% increase in bifacial gains. So you can see why having material on the ground can really increase the energy output. And so developers and investors are thinking, yes, let's put this stuff down. Okay, there's a bigger capital expenditure, but we're gonna get our return on investment quicker um, by something really, really simple as putting a mat down. And when I say simple mat, I don't mean it's a simple mat. There is a lot of innovation and technology put into bifacial matting to make sure that albedo rating is as big as possible. And there's a lot of great testing going on. So I encourage you to look into bifacial matting and find out what's going on. So with that in mind, matting in an open field or in some of these extreme landscapes we've been uh, discussing throughout the webinar series is not gonna do too well by itself. Now, one way of holding it down would be through trenching. Trenching is quite expensive. We've discussed that on the cable containment stuff, but it's also expensive getting big machines out there or in hard to reach area, it becomes even harder. So a big conversation is happening is how we keep this either on the gr ground or elevated or make sure it's there throughout any wind loading or anything like that and reflecting the sunlight just as we need to, getting that irradiation back up into the rear of the solar panels. Incidentally, these are not bifacial solar panels. It's just what we've got our training facility here at Gripple. So what we're going to discuss is what Gripple can do to help you with this reflective matting materials, the bifacial reflective matting materials. Now, I've said before that we're really, really good at anchoring, at pinning and things like that. We've got our civil division, which is fantastic, which is holding the sides of roads up, like helping river erosion and things like that. So we're taking the same type of technology and applying it here in the solar, solar industry. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just give a very brief demonstration of, a, of one of our smaller pins being installed. These are incredibly efficient pins and therefore we can design them in to make sure there's no uplift on this material. So I'm just going to do that now and then I'll talk a little bit more about the engineering we'll put behind that. So as you can see, it's an incredibly easy install. We've got a, a chuck uh, tool that interfaces with the pin that's just driven down with a simple uh, drill mechanism or screw mechanism into the ground. And that's how we get the very, very, very high efficiencies in terms of pullout. 
Now, what does that mean? I've spoken at length before about Gripple being engineers. We love engineering, we're good at it, and we do it all the time in civil construction, for example, like I've just mentioned. So what we look at in this situation is where, where the site is, what the wind loading is, the um, height above sea level and things like that, and say, right, so what loads are these matting gonna see? Apply some safety factors to that, do all the, the, the wind flow kind of calculations on what this uplift would be, and then specify the right pin type or the right anchor type. Bear in mind we can use anchors similar to the anchors we use on the uh, anchor in the solar frame to keep this stuff down as well if the wind loads are particularly high. So we can specify the right system in the right place and the right amount. And what we've found is this is a really cost effective way of installing this matting safely and to make sure this thing's not going to blow away. Like I said, there's a big capital investment in putting this matting down. Not huge, but there is a capital investment. You need to make sure it's put down properly and it's not going to blow away in a year's time and you have to repeat the whole progress. So Gripple and Gripple's engineers are here to help you install this and get it right first time with the right technology, whether it be this pin or an anchor or a longer pin, we can specify that and the right engineering mathematics to back that up. And we're there to support in terms of training on installation and things like that as well. So basically, if you've got a site where you're interested in bifacial, um, bifacial systems, whether you've already got panels, or you're looking to increase the efficiency of your albedo rating, you can get in touch with Gripple. We know some great um, ref reflective matting manufacturers as well we can put you in touch with. And make sure that the anchoring system is suitable for your site. So as ever, um, please ask any questions. Uh, we'll put out some literature as well at the end of this, um, at, at the end of this webinar. But uh, please, please, please get in touch with us. I know this is an interesting and new technology to the solar world and we're really excited to be part of it. So keep talking to us. If you've got a site coming up, get us involved. There's nothing we like more than talking to you guys and doing the engineering mathematics behind it. So again, please get in touch with us. I hope you've enjoyed this webinar and all the other webinars in the series. They're all available on YouTube. So please re-watch, watch again and get in touch. So thank you very much and thanks for watching and I hope to speak to you all in the new year. Thank you.